Good morning and God bless. Let us come to God's word together in prayer. Let us come before this time of fellowship with the grace that God gives us. Let us pray. Lord, <clears throat> you call us in the midst of all kinds of things. You've been calling us in the midst of our peace and quiet and rest. Lord, even calling us to a new day from our rest. Lord, help us to hear your calling from your word this day. Your calling to engage or your calling to disengage and to meditate upon your word. Your calling to reach out into the world or, Lord, your spirit's call to us to reflect back and look at memories and take out old photos and Lord to find our peace and all that you have done and also all that you are doing and Lord if we are at peace in our faith we ask your help in bringing your peace to others to give forward the good news that we have in Jesus Christ and Lord, we thank you for those who are, are already about that ministry today. We thank you for those that are working in uh, programs, in, in care homes, in shelters, especially those who are taking people in from places where they are threatened and places where they have uh, been so worried about life that they've been unable to, to engage in faith. Lord, we are saddened that this is still the reality of our, of our humanity. That there are places in this world, there are, there are times, there are more than moments, but seeming, seeming lifetimes where people suffer and struggle because the people in their life won't give them peace or they just can't seem to find it. We pray for people in care in care in nursing homes and in hospitals, in special care homes, Lord, that would love to be home, home with family and friends, but they need this special attention and care. May they find good fellowship where they are. And patience to be patience. That healing, as it needs to happen, will take place that they will receive fully the gifts of care and healing that are being offered to them. And Lord, bless those whom you have called to be in the work of healing. Lord, what a tremendous call that is. And lately, it has been an exhausting call. We acknowledge this before you, O Lord, as we recognize it in them. And so, Lord, help us to be a support, a strength to one another as we care for one another. It is not always easy to love our neighbor. But Lord, you grant us grace. And Lord, may we keep your grace that we may show and share it. And so, Lord, let us be a sign of your peace as we go forth in Christ Jesus' name. Amen. Turning now to God's word, we, we seek its peace in its, in its pages. Psalm 128. For thou shalt eat the labor of thine hands, happy shalt thou be, and it shall be well with thee. <clears throat> it's raining today, otherwise I'd be out in the garden for this devotion, but it is a happy thing. Whether we're laboring with our own hands in our own garden, or we celebrate that uh, by hard work and by good service, um, we've brought bread to our tables and we're bringing home the bacon and all those, those wonderful expressions about what it is to provide. And as much as we celebrate the way we are able to provide for ourselves and a lot of self-realization is about being able to, to care for yourself and, and to care for those that you love, we recognize our place in the way that God overall cares for all. And in our bringing home um, and, and, and being able to provide, we are also bringing 
bringing home God's blessings. And in as much as we, you know, fill the fridge and the pantry and, and all that good stuff, we can look at that provision and what we're able to put there as God entrusting to us the resources of care for ourselves, but also the opportunities for care for others. So God bless you in the recognition of the gifts that God has given you and the celebration of what God is calling you to do in people's lives and especially in the lives of those that you love and care for. God bless and keep you. Amen.